Right. The first, I'm going to say this to you, the first law of nature, you can't change that, is self-preservation. First off. Number two, the example that you just gave. You didn't get an example as to who the family is and what contacts they actually have because that paradigm would not work in the majority of black businesses because they're not going to be able to have access to capital outside of their own means in terms of that particular Caucasian paradigm that you just talked about, number one. Number two, even though they're making money, you say start for five, one for three fifty, and then four fifty. I guarantee you right now, they cannot do anything politically in Baltimore to help black folks because their funds are directly tied to people that have money in Baltimore and other places around. So it's a byproduct of that. When you depending on who you get your money from determines whether or not you're going to really be able to make some serious economic um, um, thrives in your overall community. For example, Anthony Steakhouse on uh, Mansfield yeah. is a prime example of what you're talking about. He didn't want black customers. He just wanted to basically serve our white customers because they have money for fine dining. That's true. Okay. So he makes money out there. He's been in business for a while. But guess what he can't do? He can, if, if he sees an injustice in the community that he wants to stand up on, he cannot just go out and stand up on those particular uh, concepts because those people can easily take their business and go elsewhere. You want me to give you an example? The Dixie Chicks. The Dixie Chicks, a country western group, multi-platinum selling, multi-millionaires, they saw that the war was bad. They stand up and say, George Bush, this is wrong. You need to uh, stop the war. What did their consumers do? Stop shopping with them. And stop shopping with them because now they're not actually successful in the sense that they can now depend on their own thing. They're always dependent on the consumers. Now, if other consumers had their political ideology, then they would have not had to go out of the collective consciousness of the public in order to be able to survive. Now, if you're just a capitalist, so if you're just a capitalist, your concept makes sense. But this is not what this game is about. You are supposed to be here to not only help yourself and your people, your immediate family, but the entire community. And the only way you can do that is through public policy. You can't do that just through money. And so that's my point that I'm making to you. Well, but, but I mean, your, your analogy from a business owner point of view is unrealistic and sin. This is my point. How is it unrealistic? If, so, if something happens on this campus right here, that was negative. Okay, that was negative. That would impact the way these people think about the school. Mm -hmm. They would go someplace else. Well, the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm in a business environment. I'm, I'm, I have responded, and, and that particular group, which is African American, all have responded to many um, issues within um, in the community. It depends upon how um, how you respond respond to it. If I go out there, if uh, if I go out there and, and act in a way that's inappropriate among the general of the general population, I'm going to lose that that, that population. No, 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 I just gave no, an example. No, this no. Oh, 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 okay. They didn't act inappropriately. They no, just no, they but, just but spoke in, out against the war. But my, but the, but the point I want to make is that in their she view, she against the war. She just said that she was ashamed oh, that they were both from Texas. Yeah, yeah. But 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 the, but the idea of it is that it didn't. From from what was well, from what was reported, it, it affected the market. In actuality, they still maintain a certain base that did not have. No, they did. Yes, they no, they did. They had to go out of business basically, That's and they happened. came. They came back. Their lead singer okay. came back and and maneuvered. These are basic principles. Actually, the only thing the only thing that really helped in that particular instance was that when it was revealed that there were no weapons of Absolutely. mass destruction, then all of a sudden it was, well, maybe they weren't wrong for saying what they said after all. So the political climate was really what helped turn that uh, downward spiral in, in reverse. It wasn't because of all of a sudden the consumers stopped being mad at them. They were, they were like, oh. They still, I, don't, I don't think that they'll ever be what they were. No. Let me interject the point that he's trying to make. Anybody ever seen the movie Driving Miss Daisy? And that's yeah. an older movie. Yeah. Right. There's a scene in the movie when Martin Luther King is coming to Atlanta to give a speech. Uh -huh. The mother, her name escapes you now, it was Miss Daisy. Yeah. What's her real name? I, I was real. Just the Just the All right. She has a son. She, she's a widow. Her son runs 
the family business. Yeah. The family is Jewish. And the mother says, invites the son to come to the, to the speech with Martin Luther King. And he said, well, no, mother, uh, I don't think I'm going to go. And she said, well, why you don't want to go? Well, you know, we, we, are, we are the Atlanta Jews here. And if I attend an event oh. with Martin Luther King, behind my back, they'll start calling me Martin Luther King. Martin Luther Worthy. Mm -hmm. I'll stop getting invited to some of the important meetings yeah. at the country club. Absolutely. And some of the Georgia and New York Jews may start diverting their business Absolutely. somewhere else. So I think that's that's, that's a clear cut example of what he's Absolutely. talking about. Whether it be black, whether it be, whether it be Hispanic, black, what? Absolutely. Uh, in terms of the cultural dynamic, as, as a Jewish man who might have believed in Martin Luther King, from a business aspect, he couldn't have attend that it. event for the sake or the chance Absolutely. that his current that. suppliers would stop doing Absolutely. his life. He couldn't, he couldn't risk it. And so now you understand that business goes far beyond just making money. Right. At that point, politics come into play in terms of those overall things. Well, I'll, she had a point. Because I saw you the frying and went down from that step. No, I mean, I'm, I'm good. You understand? Know Your point is well taken and you're correct. People that look like me will also be used to oppress their own people. But see, that's, I think that as a society, you know, I mean, and I have actually thoroughly enjoyed your presentation, mm -hmm. but a lot of what I've heard is black this, white that, and that to me is is part, I mean, in my opinion, is, is part of our problem. It is. Because How? it doesn't, why not help a community? Why does it have to be a black community or a white community? So let me ask you this question. My community you said, is You said you have an apartment or a house? I have a, I own a home. Okay. Do you, do you go down the street to clean up somebody else's house before you clean up yours? No. So that's, that's the point. You got to take care of your own before you venture off. If you look at, let me show you something. If you look at my political philosophy, what this is saying is when black folks come together with Native American folks, come together with Latino folks, come together with Asian folks and Middle Eastern folks and Caucasian folks around four basic principles, freedom, justice, equity, and cultural diversity, and you bring the green hand in by way of the youth and the purple hand by way of the, um, the elders, now when everybody has a seat at the table and you have equity, now you have peace. That, that's the only way that's going to happen. And Craig, another way to ask a question. What, what, what's, what's your racial, racial derivation? Mutt. This is mutt. Okay. That's as far as you can break it down, when you, your family is Italian, Irish. Italian and Native American. Have anybody in your family ever alluded to grandma such and such? You're coming from Sicily? Coming from where? Sicily. Sicily no. The, the great grandma, no one ever mentioned that. But someone had mentioned to you that you are Italian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody here that's African American, raise your hand if you know what part of Africa your people is from. <laughs> they don't. That's the difference. That's the difference. See, see, the whole thing, see, we never have, in America, you never have racial conversations, really. Right. And so that's what the issue is. So people try to put dirt on these issues. And now, as Robert, Robert was alluding to, his premise is that to be businessman, you sell to in and everybody, and it's true. Now, I have, I have meat pies. Why don't buy my product? But I created the concept to initially do business within my community because the only way that I'll be able to speak out on political issues is that the people that look like me support me. So that doesn't mean that I wouldn't 